Jane Douglas for Gamespot UK. We're here with Chet Falasek of Valve, who's going to talk to us about Portal 2. Um, it's delayed. Why is that? Well, not really. We've announced a date. We're going to hit that date. Okay. And it was a very short delay. Yes. It was our very shortest delay. Uh -huh. But what were you doing? You know? uh, making the game better. It was a lot of polish and a lot of, uh, you know, Portal 2 is just filled with tiny little things that all build up to make a great game. And so it's just really polishing those up. Okay, uh, but there is more complexity. We've been playing some of the co-op today, and you've got these, you've got the gels and, and all of that. So, do you think it's a trickier game in all? Um, so we work really hard, and so we, we were bring testers in every single day at Valve, and they're testing single player and co-op. And the idea was to add complexity and add tools, but not add difficulty. So you can watch a video on YouTube and see the crazy things someone's doing and be like, I'll never be able to do that. But honestly, you'll be able to, as you progress through, learn how to do that so that when you get to that step, all of those things will come together and it's not difficult for you. It's simply complex for you and you can just problem solve it. Your involvement is obviously in a, in a writing capacity, centered on that. Um, how do you find writing that much dialogue when it's mostly one-sided? How, how do you keep it funny? In comedy, generally, you use a lot of people. We use a uh, writing room where we kind of go around and if you can't make each other laugh, the problem is not going to be good for the game as well. And so it's really keeping the intensity up and just working it through. The thing, of course, is as you're working on a game, uh, you're hearing the same comedy bits again and again and again, and no joke holds up to hearing it 500 times. But there's a there's an initial reaction that you can definitely gauge. And like the minute we dropped in the Stephen Merchant stuff, people were like, oh God, this is great. I can listen to him forever. So we actually added that where there's a lot of places, if you don't progress forward, you can listen to a lot of Stephen Merchant. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans that the, the um, sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. We've been playing the co-op today, so it's GLaDOS and uh, OrangeBot and, and BlueBot. Yep. Um, the relationship with them is kind of different to the relationship with Chell. She's a bit more aggressive with them, would you say? Uh, she's a bit more aggressive in a different way. She actually has some affinity for them, and she'll often kind of step back and treat them differently because she really hates the humans. But, you know, the, the bots have some problems and see things she likes. But she's definitely still being GLaDOS, and she's still using them in her GLaDOS way. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the uh, gels that change the properties of surfaces. Yeah, so um, similar actually to uh, the original Portal team, uh, we had this team called the, the Paint Team, and they're, uh, they were uh, Seattle-based students, uh, and they'd come up with this really cool concept. And at first, uh, we kind of struggled with what it all means, and then it really became clear of Portal 1 was about surfaces, and you look at a surface and go, I can put a portal there, I can't put a portal there. And what Paint lets us do is change that, where you can look at a surface and go, okay, I can't put a portal there, but I can change the properties of that surface. And so that just changes the way you look at puzzles. And you can, I can say that and you're gonna be like, oh, that doesn't really seem like that different of a thing. But really you'll see people when we have play tests, of they go through and they hit that spot and they'll wanna have more complexity to the puzzle than there is with really with the paint, like, oh, it's this really simple thing. And then once they hit that hurdle, they're like, oh, that's how, that's how I should be solving these puzzles, and this is how I should be doing it. And this is really just breakthrough of kind of changing up the whole way you look at the puzzles. Okay, along with the added mechanics, um, you've mentioned previously uh, the, game's, the game's longer. People will be pleased to hear that. Um, what kind of length are you looking at for the co-op and then the single player? So, Portal, when you talk about the length of the game, it's really kind of hard because Portal 1 could be a three-hour game if you're smart, or you know, not that right, 12, 15-hour game, 30-hour game, who knows, right? right. So, um, we like to talk about it in comparison to that. And so uh, the single player originally shooting to be twice as long as Portal 1, and we ended up going over. Um, it's, it's longer than that. Uh, the Portal 2 co-op is about twice as long. So you're looking at about, you know, four times. Okay, cool. And it's been said the PS3 uh, version is going to be, it's going to be really special. It's going to be the kind of comprehensive version. Can you tell us, uh, tell us about that? Well, so first, all the versions, if, if you sat down in front of a Mac, in front of a PC, in front of a 360 or a PS3 and started playing the game, the core game's the same. Uh, you, everyone's getting the same experience there. Uh, where the PS3 differs for the consoles is uh, it'll get regular updates because we can do uh, quick updates on next. We have Steam uh, integrated with uh, the PS3. And so since we can do quick updates, like we like to do, 
that lets us keep that in line with the PC and Mac version so we have cross-platform play. So those three platforms can play against each other. And then we also have, if you buy it on the PS3 and you register your Steam account with it, you'll actually get a copy on Steam as well. Well, that's great. Thanks for talking to us, Chet. And if we could get the platform and uh, the release date, that would be fantastic. So Portal 2 is coming out on April 22nd for the PC, Mac, 360, and PS3. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? Oh, I think she likes you. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? <sighs> okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster.